OJT fan, what up? Back at again with another video. I hope you guys been good. I've been good. Cold as hell, but we good because, you know, New England, January. Um, so, yeah. Um, the way I'm going to start doing my videos now is I'm going to start breaking them up uh, little by little and then just collab everything uh, into one video. It'll probably be like a span of a week or two because, honestly, yo, I just don't have enough time to vlog, like, everything throughout one day. Feedback is much appreciated. Um, please let me know how you guys like that format. But I did take the time to uh, undercoat this vehicle because I am going to keep this car long term. I plan on to. And now I'm in the process of getting the getting it kitted and fitted with the uh, TRD lip kit. And then a new bumper. Creed. What up? And I've still been acquiring parts. Uh, shout out to my boy Ruben. Helped me up with these uh, OEM fogs. They got to get cleaned up a little bit, so I'm actually going to do it myself because I've been on the kick of buffing headlights and stuff like that. I actually did these ones. They look pretty good. I wish I had like a before picture of them. But I'm actually going to sell these because he gave me a killer deal on these black housing uh, OEM headlights. So definitely excited to put these on. And then you see that manifold there. That's not for the IS. That's actually for the GS. So if you guys want to take a walk with me, um, move this thing out the way. And let's go in this box. And we have ourselves a full CX Racing Turbo Kit. Make sure I open this box. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna take everything out until I'm actually like ready to put on the car, but it's all there. Everything, like full, full, full turbo kit. Pretty excited about that and I got it for a killer deal like I said before and I'm actually I got um, I'm going to NAT with this car because originally I wanted to go 1J but obviously you guys know like the prices on 1J has been going wild and aftermarket parts has just been on back order like crazy so I feel like NAT will be the most efficient because you know the when Dave comes I blow up the 2J I can always just go grab another one from the junkyard or for somebody that's parting out a GS or IS so I feel like that'd be the best option. Plus, I'm not trying to make big power with this car. I like with the 2J, I'm just gonna do headsets and call today. I'm only aiming for like three, 350 horse. I still wanna drive this car on the street. I still wanna just be able to drive it to work or just drive it wherever I want to. Drop it. Drop it. You suck, Creed. Anyway, so uh, day two of this video, and today, first things first, I think I'm going to um, buff out these um, fog lights, and then well, I'm going to wet sand them first, and then we're going to buff them, and then hopefully it'll make a difference, so yeah. When I uh, wet sand these, I'm actually going to go from uh, 800, and then bump it all the way up to 3,000, and then after that, we're going to wipe everything down, and then we're going to polish it, and then hopefully it'll come out like crystal clear, or as close as crystal clear. YouTube is probably going to witness the ghettoest version of a vice. So, yeah, I really got to buy a vice. So for now, I'll just wedge it between these two wheels, and then I'll just buff it up real quick, and hopefully we'll have a better result. So yeah, um, don't mind the dog in the background, but here is the end result of the first fog light I did. I'll put it next to the other one that hasn't been done yet, and it's not really, can't really tell on camera, but in person you could definitely tell the difference. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, it has like some yellow on the old one still, and then the new ones, see how they're like all clear surrounding? Yeah, so... And one way you can actually tell the difference is if, you, if I swipe my finger through the new ones, you really don't hear anything. But if I do the same on this one, it 
So yeah. Um. So I'll do the passenger side now, and then I'll put them next to each other, and yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do the passenger side now, and then um I'll be back with you guys shortly. And here we have it guys, some uh, buffed out headlights. Obviously they're not gonna come out perfect because they're used, so they experience rock chips and all that other good stuff. But I got them as good as I can. Um, and it's really gonna look good with the uh, the fresh set of OEM black housings. So definitely can't wait to see these on the car. All right, so next on the list is I'm gonna get the car kitted and fitted. So that's uh, putting the TRD kit on. Since I'm by myself, I'm going to have it held up with these uh, three car jacks. And then while it's held up, I'll press it against the car. I'll trace it. That way I can trace the hole to cut. And then I'll zip tie it. Make sure it fits good. So I got my two holes traced. I'm going to drill those. And I'm going to zip tie it. I'm going to press it against the car like I said before. I'm going to use the heat gun and then... I'll be all set with the skirts, and then I'll do the rear valence, and then last but not least, got the brand new front bumper, and then the lip I got to put on that too, and then once that's done, I can get it sent out for paint. <laughs> There we have it. Side skirt is mocked up. Like I said before, I'm gonna run the heat gun for a little bit and then it should be all set for prepping paint. All right, so side skirts are mocked up for the most part. And then now I'm gonna do the rear lip. Um, this is, I feel like it's gonna take me a lot longer than the skirt. One thing I do notice with the rear lip is I'm going to have a problem with this whole cutoff of the exhaust because I got an aftermarket exhaust, the HKS up there. So I'm going to have to actually take that muffler down and put it up against this and trace out and then Dremel all this right here. And then I can actually do the mock-up. So let me do that real quick. So after... Uh, Putting it up to the uh, lip, I traced out what I should cut. So I'm, let me uh, take out the Dremel and cut that real quick. And then we can actually fit this on the rear bumper. You know what? I'm not going to front, guys. I spent about an hour trying to fit this lip. And you guys are just not going to see this thing mocked up today. Because this is what happens when you buy eBay aftermarket parts. They fit like fucking dog shit. And the friggin' brackets that it came with, the screws don't even fit. So... I'm um, and put the uh, new bumper on, and unlike the eBay one, actually fits good. I didn't even put any screws on there, or nothing. And yeah, see how good it fits. So, actually, let me grab this grill I bought. And yep, looks so damn good. I am loving this. Yeah, I can't wait till this car is out. This got me excited. Before I um send them off the paint, actually, I think I'm gonna do the magnets on the side, and then I do gotta get that rear lip situated. But I think I'm gonna add it off here, and then you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.